IT Media Standard 7 Chapter 7 Conditional Formatting Lesson Objectives Conditional Formatting in MS Excel Conditional Formatting Rules Chart in MS Excel Conditional Formatting Conditional Formatting is used to format selected cells or cells that meet a specific condition based on values or formulas. It helps to highlight a unique cell or range of cells, emphasize unusual values, visualize data by using data bars, color scale and icon sets. Highlighting Cells Rules Conditional formats helps to highlight the cells. Highlighting Cells Rules Select conditional formatting on Styles group on the Home tab. When you select conditional formatting, you will get different types of conditional formatting which you can apply to the cells. Clear rules. It helps to remove conditional formatting on the cells or range of cells. Here you can see the clear rules. Top or bottom rules. It helps to format highest or lowest values in a range of cells based on a specified cutoff values. Data bars. Data bars help to see the value in a cell relative to other cells. The length of the data bar refers the value in the cell. A longer bar represents a higher value and a shorter bar represents a lower value. Color scales. Color scales are visual guides that helps us to understand data distribution and variation. It helps to compare the range of cells by using a gradation of two or more colors. The shade of color represents higher and lower values. Icon sets. Icon sets is an option in conditional formatting. It is used to annotate and classify data into three to five categories separated from values. Each icon represents a range of values. Icon sets option is located on the drop down list of conditional formatting tool on styles group. Charts in MS Excel Chart is a pictorial representation of numerical data. 
it helps to convert data into visual display it can present data and information in an attractive manner here you can see the components of chart this is the chart area and the name here it is the chart title grid lines this is the data points y axis here this line is known as y axis and here you can see the x axis this is the plot area and here legend now we can discuss in detail about the components of chart first one data series it refers to the set of worksheet data that are plotted in a chart plot area this area contains the chart axis and grid lines chart title it is the heading of a chart legend it identifies each data series in a chart axis the horizontal and vertical lines that surround the plot area are called axis axis titles these are headings that can be given to the x axis and y axis data label it is the title given to the data markers in a chart grid lines the horizontal or vertical lines in the plot types of chart in ms excel waterfall chart histogram chart pareto chart box and whisker chart tree map chart sunburst chart these are some important chart types in ms excel first we can start with waterfall chart a waterfall is also known as excel bridge chart the floating columns make a bridge connecting the end points histogram chart it displays numerical data in bins the bins are represented by bars it is used for continuous data pareto chart it contain both bars and a line graph individual values are represented by bars the cumulative total is represented by the line box and whisker chart it is used commonly in statistical analysis it shows distribution of data into quartiles highlighting the mean outliers the tree map chart displays hierarchically structured data sunburst chart it is pie chart that shows relational data sets 
the inner rings of the chart relate to the outer rings it's a hierarchical chart with the inner rings at the top of the hierarchy creating a chart the data in rows and columns of a worksheet are used for creating charts in ms excel excel automatically maintains links between worksheet data and its graphical representation of the chart the new tabs design and format appear on the ribbon displaying various chart tools helps to make changes in the charts changing the chart type to change the chart type select the chart then click on change chart type option on type group from the design tab after that select a chart type and choose its sub type then click on okay button these are the steps we need to follow to change the chart type here you can see change chart type icon which helps you to change the chart to other types changing data in a chart chart data and worksheet data are linked together in excel the chart will automatically update when there is any changes in the worksheet changing chart style and chart layout it helps to change the visual style and layout of a chart for that select the chart and click on chart layouts group in the design tab 